Hey everybody, welcome to Freedom Ranch Homestead. Today, um, I'm gonna give you a little overview of what the plan is for the weekend as far as working inside of our log house. Uh, we have changed directions on the railings for the loft and for the staircase, and I'll show you what we're gonna be doing instead of the long trees that we had um, chosen, the hemlock trees. Uh, we spoke with Dan a little bit more about the design and decided that it was just gonna be a little bit easier and more cost effective to go a different route. One of the things that I am going to be doing for the railings is um, I'm going to be spray painting first up with a primer and then a black flat spray paint over one inch rebar. And that is going to become the pickets for our railing. And then the other thing that um, hopefully Chuck and I are gonna to get to is we got all of the tongue and groove wood for the basement walls. So this weekend, I am hoping that we will be able to um, finish a good portion of the basement off. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you around a little bit about what decisions we have changed. So for those of you who've been following us, you know that we have a large upside down tree in the middle of our living space, which holds up the ceiling beams. So what we had originally thought we would do is to have um, beams coming out from the tree and going down the stairs that were the hemlock trees. And so um, we have switched that up. We've decided that the only round organic piece will be the tree in the middle of the house. And instead, we decided to go with some of our heavy beams that we still had left over, and they will match in with, I'll stain them or put the linseed oil uh, mixture on them so that they kind of look similar to what we have on our walls. So I'm gonna walk upstairs and kind of show you what's going on with this. So these beams here are going to be part of the railing that we'll have in between them. So there's a bottom one and then a top one, and they'll have the um, rebar in between. So I think it's like every four inches you have to have the rebar. So they'll be floating. There are two big beams down here that um, they have, Corbin has nicely um, rounded the edges on and sanded them down. And those beams are gonna support the railing and a little bit more of the staircase. So there'll be a tall one starting from the floor and going up quite a bit where the railing will tie in. And then there'll be another two, one in the corner there and a smaller one in the end there. So that will hold the railing um, boards in place. So if we head upstairs, you can see what they have done so far. So this is one of the large beams that we had for the exterior um, walls. And then they took one of our four by eight beams, which are the same beams that are up on the ceiling. And this is all the wood that was harvested from our property. So it still has very special meaning to us. It is the pine, white pine, but they made this a little bit smaller. So they made it a four by six. And then once again, rounded off the edges so it's nice and smooth. They also took some of our remaining wood and placed it in position with a little bull nose on the edge as well. And so what will happen is they will put another row in here and they will have holes going into the floor that the rebar will sit into. So it gives more of a um, industrial feel. We wanted just a little bit something more than just the wood in the house. You can see here that they have cut into the tree in order for the railing beam to get set in. And um, they're just amazing when they do that work. It's very cool. So that's about it for the tour of what we're gonna be doing with our railings. Um, we're hoping it'll come together really nicely, but I really do think it will. So everything just kind of has that same feel, the square bulky wood, and then, um, and then the big organic tree in the center. Busy, busy. Take a 
look outside. Ooh, what a beautiful evening. Oh my goodness, so gorgeous. I count my blessings every single day. Good morning, everybody. We are getting set up to start working in the basement, getting all the tongue and groove boards put on the walls. So hopefully we will accomplish quite a bit today. The saw has been moved downstairs for easy access and the walls that need to be covered. And the exciting news, friends, is our windows have arrived and they will be put in on Monday. So day after tomorrow. What? Yeah. You didn't tell me this. I know, I'm telling you right now. Isn't that exciting? Finally getting your office windows. So it's been about an hour since I last showed you us <laughs> putting the saw in place. We have not been able to find anything and it's been a very, very frustrating event. Um, but now I think we've got it together. So we're getting ready to cut some wood. And unfortunately the nails I got for the nail gun are not the right angle. So we are just gonna be brad nailing the nails to the wall. And then once we get the right finished nails, then we'll come back and get them all secured. So. I'm not heading for the stars, driving down the boulevard at night. Playing cool, play on repeat, watching people on the street as I go by. Doesn't even matter to me where I go. I just <laughs> got my coffee cup to go, and I'm gonna hit the road tonight. Now my wheels in motion, and my windows open with the wind blowing in my hair. I'm driving down. Here's the test, baby. Oh, no. Did we do it the wrong side? Oh. Yeah, we did. We did. We, we, wait, not we. Oh, no, but you cut it. Oh, please. <laughs> We have pretty much completed this wall and Chuck wanted to explain a little bit about what is going on with the part right over the door. That wall was completed first, but they started at the top and worked halfway down because they were just trying to get it um, paneled so they could put the mini split on the wall. So then Peter and I came along and we finished it, but we had to finish it from coming up from the bottom. When we got to the bottom, we had to rip that bottom board which meant then we had to rip when we turned the corner to do this side and we worked up. We had to start to keep the lines, the- Yeah, the boards, the tops of the keep boards. Keep them all matched up evenly. We had to rip this one as the first board and then work to the top and all worked perfectly. But then like that was a month ago. So today we started out and, and just assumed we could start over here and work our way to the top. And we got up <laughs> and uh, coming across, you can see right here, we were a little taller and we were trying to figure out why. And all of a sudden I remembered we had shortened that board up on the bottom. Yeah. So the whole wall is down just a little bit. Yeah. It doesn't really matter because we're boxing this in and all of that will be covered with trim anyway. Yeah. And well, then we just need to, thing. we still need to rip a board that'll fit oh, in yeah, right above board. the door. So right that here. will be filled in, but we're going to go over to the next wall so that Chuck has his office like officially completed. Not well, not complete, I know. <laughs> the wall part, because uh, this portion of the basement is his office. Actually, it's going to be really this corner here. So, so we're going to work over here now. And then, if we have time, 
do, 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 do. We'll start this, which should be like super, super easy because yes. there's just long boards. So time. we got the hardest wall done. It is not 100% perfect, but it looks pretty darn good to us. So we're yeah. pleased. Yay. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. We have completed the back wall. Fantastic. So now we're gonna work our way around the corner and around the door frame. last piece of wood for the evening yes. and we're calling it quits wow look at that Yay. baby look at that that cut was perfect look at that a little freehand cut nice i love it that looks fantastic babe i'd say we're professionals i say we're not <laughs> For people who have no experience, I'd say right, we're doing pretty good. So, we'll trim more. It turned out nice. Good morning, everybody. We are back at work here in the basement. Um, the goal for the day is to try and get this back wall completed and maybe another wall on the back and maybe try to tackle a little bit of the ceiling. <laughs> that was Chuck's idea and I kind of nixed it in the butt because of my neck, but uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll give it a shot. We'll try. I doubt. I know. <laughs> but first thing we got to do is we got to move all of the junk behind us that we have moved in and uh, and make some space for us to work. So yeah. we're gonna get at it. Let's get at it.
So what we're doing is we are thinking ahead for the TV that's going to be hanging on this wall, um, which we actually should have thought ahead even more and had the electrician put a plug up there, but we did not. So we're trying to think before we completely seal this wall up, we're going to drop an extension cord down into it and see how it works. And I'm going to fit now. Can you make it even a little bit larger? I mean, it's not a supporting stud, so. Should we go to that back wall and work on that and wait? Conundrum. What shall we do? What we are doing in the meantime while we wait for the electrician to get back to us is we're going to add these studs oh. back in that they had to take out to get the shower in and then we'll start working on this wall. Completed this wall. The bathroom now has a little bit of privacy in it. <laughs> Not, much. <laughs> Not much. That looks great. No door. So three wall, two walls missing. Yep. We uh, we've done pretty good here. So Progress. we did talk to the electrician, and he said to hold off on putting the boards on this wall until he can get that outlet in. So that's what we're doing. And now let's move the weight equipment back, and then you got to go pack, don't you, for your trip? Yep. Trip away. Okay, and then I may see if Bree can come in and help me do a little bit over on this corner wall. Treated by someone so tenderly. Chuck is headed inside to get ready for his trip and I've decided to stay in the basement and do a little bit more work on the walls, especially the shorter walls so that there are pieces of wood that I can manage by myself. So I am gonna go ahead and get at it. So I'm gonna do this wall in this hallway right here. And then once that is completed, there's a little spot through here. That's kind of awkward but um, I'll put some boards to finish that off. So it'll really look like that back wall is completed. This should look really nice. Um, I'm not sure Chuck wanted to try and close this portion off, but we're not sure how that's gonna work. I personally just don't mind the beams because they remind me that the tree is just right above us. That's what's holding that tree in place. have completed what I set forth to do, which is to close this edge in here. So this wall looks fully done. And then over here, we got that wall. Fabulous. So we did a lot today. The next thing, which I'm gonna do probably tomorrow, is frame out this bathroom door and the door going into the utility space. So thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoy what we are doing here in our log home and how it's turning out. I know we are very excited about how things are coming together and hopefully within the next two months we will be moved in. Um, we'll see. We still have a lot of trim work and other things to do, the shower, the kitchen, all that stuff, but that's what we're hoping for. End of February, sometime in March, maybe at the latest, but we'll see. I mean, we were hoping to be in in December of 2021 and you know, here it is 
the winter of 2023. So <laughs> everything always takes a lot longer than expected, but that's okay. We're enjoying this and we hope you guys are too. Thanks for, again for joining us on this journey and we'll see you again very soon. Please take care. Take a look at this. Oh my gosh, it lightens this place up so much having those two windows. Yay! Wow, I dig it. Can't take them anywhere. <laughs> Finley has made herself very comfortable in Ikea. <laughs> we'll see you later, girl. We'll come pick you up tonight. Finishing up the dishes, the garbage disposal. It's walking. We need to get the what's called the mechanic. <laughs> Why are these things in the sink? I told you to take them out. Let's go, let's go. Wow. This smells good. This smells good. Oh. Let's go!